On est ici à l'aéroport de Toulouse et c'est parti pour Amsterdam. Hey, we just arrived in Amsterdam and we are now waiting for our friend Yuval to come from Tel Aviv. We found Yuval over there and we are now trying to find our hostel. Okay, so we found the hostel and we found the bikes, so we're good in Amsterdam. Yuval, yeah. what are you doing here with us? We're going to the AVF summit. It's tomorrow, and then? And then the pavilion of Green Tech. Yeah, that's going to be good. Yeah. It's the whole week, sure. so this one is staying the whole week and we're just staying for one day because we have to produce some vegetables. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm going to stay a little bit more. <laughs> but enjoy the vegetables. <laughs> Do you feel like a tourist, Nico? <laughs> and why are you taking a picture of me right now? Because I'm vlogging. That's it. So we need to go to the AVF summit? Yeah. Let's go. See you there. Convention Center, and this is the ABF Summit. So everyone is here, and it's going to be a lot of fun. What is vertical farming? Oh, you can train. That's a training session. It's a great question, but I think it's the next agriculture revolution. Now we are here at a conference on vertical farming, close and close environment <coughs> and culture, where we can grow plants wherever, whenever we want. It's kind of, we're doing great. And uh, that's the message I want to give you before we start the next session. I guess that's why you need the different activities to come together. Because the one's waste product is the, the raw material of the other. I know from mushrooms that they produce a lot of heat and a lot of CO2, and that's what crickets, well, the heat at least they need. And the CO2 is what the plants need, so that's the idea behind the closed loops. So the Association for Farming is an international non-profit organization just combining all these people, all these organizations, all these companies all over the world that really want to do vertical farming but in a sustainable way. And how do you do that? You just combine all your knowledge, you combine all your you know, capabilities, all your expertises, and you put them together and you make something beautiful out of it. So, like what is happening today in the AVF Summit, it's kind of, it's pretty amazing what I've been hearing and, you know, experiencing, witnessing. witnessing. Yeah, I can imagine them farming, they can I truly believe that in 15 years from now we will have uh, only buildings with potentially urban farming, vertical farming within the rooftops or within the building or on the facade. Uh, we won't have any more any design without this type of program. It's definitely where we are leading. So basically, yeah, it's a way to be, uh, to be efficient and to take care of resources. So people want to have locally grown, sane and tasteful products. The only way to deal with that right now is with the position to grow the vegetables within the cities. Uh, so definitely, yeah, 15 years from now, we'll see this type of program everywhere, everywhere. And more importantly, probably, these guys will be in a position to design farms on, on smaller surface and probably to intricate those growing activities with other acti locally grown, locally based activities. So we're presenting them the actual check, five thousand dollars. Really inspired by all of you. So thank you so much. 
Uh, my name is Stefan, uh, Stefan Razon. I am a student for plant sciences. I am here just to get a grip of where the market is going, what is going on. And about agriculture? About agricultural farming, of course. And I figured it's the first perfect place to meet uh, generous people like you from Let's Go Scale. And, uh, and other big names from, uh, from the market. I think somebody had a slide up earlier saying maybe there's 10 vertical farms in the U.S. right now. Uh, I can tell you on the Canvas side, there's many, many more than that. So regardless of your views on Canvas, there's actually a lot of money uh, in the Canvas market right now funding a lot of uh, innovation that will, I believe, will transport into the food production market of uh, vertical farms. It's about also looking in the fixtures about not only heat, that's how much heat is generated in absolute measure, but also to, to ensure you can go to high densities, you also need to, to really understand the temperature of your fixture that you're not burning the plants. In my opinion, if you are into vertical farming or trying to build a urban farm or into this kind of thing, you really should attend this kind of event because you get to meet so many cool people and other farmers and also uh, many people from the corporate side and it's very strong networking moment. Also the presentation, it was not about talking so good about my brand but it was also very specific and we got to learn many many things, especially when we got into the lightning systems. It was crazy full of details and I mean it was so interesting so I recommend that you subscribe to the AVF Association or at least follow them on Facebook to see the events that they're organizing and um, and yeah, it feels like here everyone believes in vertical farming and we feel that something is happening and we know it's only the beginning but this is very exciting so we're very happy to be here and thank you again AVF for the invitation we had an amazing moment even if we are far away from our farm and this is a little bit difficult for me to leave my baby plants in the middle of June. So next time do it in winter. Thank you! Uh, the summit was great, we met a lot of people, a lot of new knowledge and all the new technology that's going on in this industry and a lot of Israelis, so it was great to see it, <laughs> and French. <laughs>so the AVF summit is over now and I'm going back to the hostel to edit this video and tomorrow we're going to talk about green tech. The supermarket where we hunt and gather the food that